Hello, my name is Adam. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, subscribe to get all my videos and hit the bell to be notified of when I release them every Wednesday and Sunday. So we're looking at FSX and we're in the CFG file, which you can find in the app data Microsoft FSX folder. This is the original one. This is the one that came with FSX. Okay. Um, the default one. I haven't changed it one bit. Uh, but what I did do is I made a copy of it and called it original, okay? Because I went into the FSX config and I tweaked it completely, okay? So the one that I use in Sim, which is this one, is uh, completely fully tweaked and I'll leave what tweaks I've applied in the comments below or in the description box below. Um, first off, I kind of separated the different sections just to make it look a little bit easier to read. Um, and then I went in and applied all my tweaks. And there are loads of tweaks that you can apply to FSX, um, which I'll get into later on. But um, these, I only applied about 15 of them. Um, and these are them. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to load up the sim. In the previous video, we showed the default scenery. We did a small flight just to see what it looks like. But this time, uh, the only add-on I've installed is Chase Plane. And we're going to head into the sim and we're going to see what a fully tweaked flight simulator looks like with chase plane attached. Now, the only thing um, I'm really, truly aiming for here is 30 frames a second. And I'll explain later why again. Um, so uh, we should get a notification about, yep, chase plane to allow it. There we go. And it should fully load. Okay, I don't know why it's not fully loading. Um, it doesn't usually take this long. Chase plane usually has started by now. What's that? That's the, uh, yeah, get rid of that. Um, maybe, I guess, maybe we have to manually start chase plane ourselves then, I guess. Um, let me just delete that file. All right. Yeah. Uh, get rid of that music so it's a bit annoying let me just manually start chase playing because it should have already started by now so um, let's uh, we go. there we go and that's it there we are I guess in FSX you have to manually start it each time then oh corruption configuration we've just detected it oh, type restart in the field okay um, type restart then there we go, and uh, I've got to uh, close down the flight simulator. So I've got to restart the flight sim. So there we go. Um, restart. Should get. A, should restart. There we go. Yes. Okay. So that's that. Tick that. Um, oh, I know why. I I see what's happened here. Right. Okay. It's with. It's to do with Steam. If um if you've closed down flight sim, but you still leave your VFX open, um you will get an error um, because Steam thinks Flight Sim is still running or a component of Flight Sim is still running. So we have to close down VFX Central, then we can restart, and now it should work perfectly. But we will ha still have to manually start Chase Plane, I think, um, unless that loads automatically. Nope, it doesn't look like it has. So I guess every time we load up FSX, we have to manually load in Chase Plane. So just type in Chase, there we are, there it is, and load it up. There we go, now it should work flawlessly. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, so I previously already have loaded in a lot of presets, um, which are basically the same ones as I've loaded in, in P3D. So. Um, we're going to load up our A321, which is our default plane we're using. Same settings, fair weather, Friday Harbor, the time. And here we go. We're going to fly it. So this is basically now a fully tweaked sim with just chase plane camera system in operation. And that is it. We shall see what it looks like. I can already see that it's loading a little bit slower, um, which is a bit strange because I haven't actually put any add-ons in. So the fact that it's loading slower... Does that mean it's the performance has gone down? I don't know. 
it seems to be loading slower anyway to me. Um, I don't know. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Very interesting. It, to be honest, it does kind of look a little bit better. Um, it does definitely feel smoother. Um, and now we've got a proper camera looking into it. Uh, I do feel like I'm sitting in the pilot seat of this plane. Uh, maybe a bit lower, so let's move that up a bit. Yep. Um, I've also put presets to my keyboard so I can literally change view so easy, just like that. Um, at the press of a button rather than having to go through the spot and all that. Um, but uh, yeah, looking sort of out, the clouds in the distance look okay. Um, let's bring the landing gear up because we're going to find a runway to land at, I think. Um, we're just going to have a little fly around and land somewhere. But the clouds in the sky, uh, just looking at them, um, I need to replace them. Um, in the next video, I'm going to go through and I'm going to replace the clouds. I want to re replace basically just textures of the ground there, the clouds in the sky, um, everything. I'm going to use GEX for the ground and I'm going to use RX for the cloud textures. And I'm even going to replace airport textures with uh, a HD airports add on, which isn't Rex Airports HD. So uh, I'll tell, tell you about that more in the next video though. But going back to what I was saying about the FSX config. So um, I scrolled through loads of videos, uh, looked through loads of forums, went onto loads of websites and basically jotted down every single tweak somebody had mentioned, okay? There are about 60 config lines of code you could enter in to improve or so-called improve your performance in FSX and basically I tried them all with various different things. The ones I'm using now are the ones that I have found most relevant to Steam Edition first off but also really do help to improve the smooth performance of the sim um, to the computer I'm using which I can only assume it would also translate to the computer you're using because these don't rely on you need a great graphics card to use they are more improvements to the structure of FSX itself so there's like the memory fix tweak um, also you can also tweak your own memory to reload its cache um, or empty the cache every five minutes and I've done another video about that I'll put a link in the description to that one it really does help with FSX to avoid the out of uh, memory errors. Um, but the CFG tweaks, um, there's only about 15 I applied and the list is in the com uh, description box below and all the ones I did, I, I, I think I, you don't really notice much of a difference here but I, I, it really does help FSX run better I feel. They're not scenery tweaks, they're not so not visual tweaks, but they're more tweaks to the system. So like there's the true wide aspect ratio for your monitor, um, there's the memfix, and there's a few others like buffer pools, um, but there's a few that aren't needed because this is the Steam Edition and it already has been kind of streamlined. It's had the acceleration pack added, it's also had the service packs added, and so some of the fixes have already been applied. Um, a lot of the tweaks I found were to do with the boxed version of FSX. So if you are running the retail box version of either the original or the acceleration pack, then there's a lot more tweaks you would need to put in. Whereas if you're running the Steam Edition version, then tweaks have already been applied and you don't need to add them. Like the Affinity Mask, I believe, not the Affinity Mask, sorry, the um, Hyper Threading. Uh, is not needed in the Steam Edition as it is needed in the original. Um, but yeah, I looked through loads of websites, I looked, read through loads of forums, and I watched about 30 different videos of everybody's version of how to run FSX smoothly. And, and this is what I've come up with. And as you can see in the corner, we're at a steady 30 frames per second, 30, 29. Um, and that's what our goal is continually throughout the entire video is just to have 30 frames a second no matter what we run. So in the next video what I do plan on running is 
GEX for complete texture replacement for the entire world, um, you know, ground environment X, and the cloud textures, putting a weather engine in, but not using Active Sky, using Rex's built in weathering, um, putting in uh, airports, I think it's called uh, Zintech, um, their airports HD, which look similar to Rex airports HD. Um, and totally replacing stuff like the sun, the moon, the, you know, things like that. So a lot of the things I'm going to be adding, though, will be freeware, things that are freely available. There's only going to be a few items that will be payware. Um, I won't be putting in any Orbex products. I want to see what a complete Orbex free uh, simulator looks like. So all my Orbex products only will be going into the P3D. There's the runway. Okay, so... Let's uh, line up with this one and we shall land this puppy. Um, is that just a flash I saw? I d you know, I did notice that flashes happen. Um, something to do with your graphics card and not being able to... If you bottleneck your graphics card, basically, flashes can appear. Um, so, anyway, I think we need to uh, bring our speed down a bit so let me just uh, drop the gear yeah. oh, can't drop it what's going on oh there we go oh my life I thought right drop flaps we need to really slow down we're way too fast ah oh, that noise means my flaps is being damaged um because I'm too fast I need to slow down um if I put my nose up maybe that will Give us more flaps. That'll slow me down. There we go. Come on, slow this puppy down. We're gonna land it. We're gonna land it. Don't sink. I'm trying not to. Don't sink. I'm trying not to. Don't sink. I won't. Okay. I think we're, going, I think we're going too slow, actually. Maybe we need to pull up a bit. <laughs> um, uh, right. Auto throttle off. There we go. Don't want that spicing me on my approach. Because um, it might think I'm trying to crash the plane, so it's trying to save it or something. Or some rubbish like that. Um, I think we're going to do this, you know. I think we might skim the trees, but I think we're going to do this, guys. We've got this. We've got this. I think we're a bit too low, but um, anyway. So, let me just land this. Oh, we're going to hit the trees. I think I should have approached from the other side. Oh, yeah. Uh, NTSB, call them in. Ah, oh, we, we, we'd have hit the trees. Definitely hit the trees on that one. Don't sink. But I think this is an alright landing. Don't okay, sink. so drop flaps to drop us onto the runway. There we go. Runway's going. We've overshot. Oh, what a load of rubbish. Right, okay. Anyway, so that's basically it, okay? Um, that's, this is fully tweaked FSX now. So let me just come out of this. Um, and basically what we're going to do is in the next video um, I'm gonna throw in all my add-ons and I'll put a list in the next video of what add-ons I have put in okay but one thing I want to note uh, now if you've once you tweet your FSX file if you go into these settings even if you don't change anything right um, there will be a change in your CFG file one of the settings will go back to its default every single time you change something in um, in this. So let me just quickly make sure everything's the way I want it. Yeah, I'll leave them. Yep, okay. Um, scenery. Ooh, yeah, that, that's fine. That's, that's how I want everything there. That's fine. Weather. Yeah, we'll, we'll be using Rex and that to inject the weather, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, that can... Oh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Thermal visualization needs to be a natural, though. We need to do that. Traffic, that's all fine. Okay, so now that we've made them selections, right, uh, we'll exit out of FSX, and I'm going to go into the CFG file. There is an LOD radius that I changed to 6.5 thousand or whatever it was every time you play with your CFG file okay 
uh, you or like in the sim with the settings, it goes back to 4.5 as you can see. So I just need to change that to 6.5 and save it. And then that's that. I'm not going to be changing my settings again. I'm not going to go into my settings and tweak them anymore. They are set. It's now the CFG file. That's the only thing that's going to get tweaked. So just be cautious of that, guys. If you're changing your settings in sim, you're going to change your CFG file. And that's where a lot of problems come into play because people don't realize this. So next video, uh, fully added on, I'm going to put in weather, I'm going to put in scenery, I'm going to put in loads of stuff, okay? And we're going to see what it looks like uh, fully tweaked up and, and that. So I want to thank everybody for watching this. Don't forget, uh, subscribe to my channel to get all my videos about Flight Simulator X, P3D, Flight, Microsoft Flight, Microsoft Flight 2020, and um, I know I'm forgetting one, but I can't remember. And make that bell ring to get notified every time I go live. Thanks, guys. Take care. See you later.